Okay, this is how we do a, a raise through a transition uh, without an artificial high directional. So I'm not supposed to be here right now. I'm supposed to be on, down below with the litter, but I just want to walk you through kind of the rigging and kind of the concept. If you look at how our lines are going over the edge, we're going to call our yellow, our main, and our, and our red is going to be our belay. We're going to find some way to rig something lower on the litter so we can bring this litter continuing up so the head protrudes through, over the edge and then we hinge. Otherwise, we're fighting this huge lever and we're never going to be able to get it to, to pull over the edge if we just attach it to the head of the litter. Ideally, it would be nice if our mechanical advantage was in line with the litter and we had a we had our, our traveling pulley right here. What, what this looks like, it depends. It could be a three to one or it could be a five to one. It doesn't really matter. If we have this here, we can convert and put a V-strap by uh, taking our rope grab off and then hooking our V-strap, and you'll see it in a minute, uh, into here. And at the same time, with the back end of our device, we will put a prusik right here. This, this is our haul strand, but we're putting a prusik right here, and now we're creating a dead leg here. And whatever mechanical advantage we had in the simple system is gonna be one less. So if we had a three to one and we did the V-strap, it's gonna be a two to one with a dead leg. Or a five to one, it's gonna be a four to one with a dead leg. A lot of times in rescue, we, we, we don't have the luxury of putting a mechanical advantage directly in line. And a lot of times there's a directional here and our, and our haul system is built somewhere else. And so it's not feasible to put a V-strap in this way uh, under those conditions. So we're, what we're gonna do in this evolution is we're, we're gonna treat this, we aren't gonna mess with, with our mechanical advantage here. We're just gonna leave this alone. It's gonna auto lock on itself and we're gonna put in a set of fours, a five to one configuration on the Aztec. And we're gonna use this as our secondary haul system to haul on that V-strap. While we do that, our entire loaded line, our main line becomes a dead leg and then we just, we just trail. Um, so we're still trailing with the backup, we're trailing with our main uh, working line and we're doing the, the transition work with an Aztec. Okay. This is our V-strap. As the name implies, it's in the shape of a V. So it's basically about 30 feet of like eight mil tied uh, with the figure eight on a bite with two terminal ends on carabiners. And there's a specific way to rig this. Uh, the V-strap the needs to lay underneath your main and your belay, completely underneath. We're gonna attach the center of it into the Aztec up top. The two ends, they need to connect to the center of gravity somewhere on the litter. So I ballpark it, I estimated it, I'm going to say like right here, that's about right. So that's one, and we'll make sure nothing's twisted. As this comes up, it's going to route underneath all these lines. I'm going to attach this one to the same point on the other side. Right there. And I'm going to come back up and I'm going to hand this off to James. And it's a lot easier to haul just a single load than a two-person rescue load. So not only am I going to hand this off to James, and when I hand this off to you, this has to go underneath all this and connect into the Aztec. And I'm going to make sure that this isn't tangled up at all. So we're good there. Okay. okay. Now I need to get out of the equation because I'm just added weight. So there's no point in me being here anymore. So I'm gonna come back up. Yeah, okay. Gotta go. Can you give me that press when you get a chance so I can come up? Yep. So I'm just going to get out completely, let my Aztec drop, and come up. Okay, so I'm completely out of the equation, and I'll take the gopher. Yep. Alright, so our V-strap needs to hook in right here, if we can, can we extend this out more. Okay, let's join it with a prusik. Okay, flip in. 
Okay. Just one second. Yeah. So it's just ballpark fuzzy mouse. So I said 30 feet in this case, like, okay, like we were inches shy, but we can always improvise. Okay. So we're set to go. And now we're ready to haul on our Aztec. Guys, make sure that the knot is not getting tangled up. And let's focus all the camera work on what's going on at the edge. We got the edge uh, kicked up for protection. Okay, and we haul up. Guys, make sure that your lines are stay where they, where they need to stay. <laughs> so the red is delay, we don't care much about that. Our dead leg is in the yellow. Keep going. This one's safe. Okay, eight blocks are in. Alright. And that's that. So, so we hinge at the midpoint of the center of gravity uh, to get through that edge transition. Otherwise it would be very difficult. A way to do it, not the way, but it works really well. And that's the pike and pivot technique.